Raider Nation, what's going on? You're watching the Raiders Report, brought to you by BetDSI, and I'm your host, Mitchell Renz. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at MitchellRenz365, for the latest Raiders news and rumors. I got a fun segment coming up here. Raiders need pass help, right? They need to get after the quarterback. So I have the top five pass rushers the Raiders should target in free agency. Before I get into those top five players, though, I'm going to give you a little background story on the Raiders. Um... Breaking news, they need help getting after the quarterback. They only had 13 sacks in 2018, which was by far, by far the worst in the NFL. Heck, the team that was in 31st place had 30 sacks. Think about that for a second, right? 30 sacks compared to 13. Big, big difference. Now, I understand this next note is probably going to sting, right? It stings, but it's worth it. Khalil Mack had 12.5 sacks in 2018 and even missed a few games. So, we traded him away. And I know this is not breaking news to any of you, and I can already see the F-bombs that I'm probably going to get for St. Cleo Mack on screen. But at the end of the day, we gave away our best defensive player. We need to be able to get after the quarterback in today's NFL. And when you have only 13 sacks, that's just simply not going to get it done. And in free agency this offseason, there's a lot of really talented players who are getting ready to enter free agency. So the first player I have up here on my big board here for the Raiders target and uh target for a pass rusher, as that's really hard for me to say, is Frank Clark. And I like Frank Clark. So I think you could argue that Frank Clark would actually be one of the better pass rushers available in almost any other year. It's just for this year, he's my number five guy because there's just so much other talent and depth. Think about this. The last three seasons, 32 sacks, and he's hit the quarterback 66 times. That's a lot. That's a lot of pressure, it's, and that's what the Raiders need. When you're going up against Patrick Mahomes, you're going up against Phillip Rivers. I can't say Case Keenum. He sinks. But other two quarterbacks, you know, at least twice a year, that's going to be tough. But then when you look at the Raiders' schedule in general, Raiders have the hardest schedule going into next season just in terms of win percentage. And Spotrack was nice enough to give us, you know, a percentage or basically an estimate of what they think he'll get this offseason. Four years, $48.1 million for Frank Clark. Does he deserve it, though? 2018, I think he does. He had a pretty good year. 41 tackles, 10 tackles for a loss, 13 sacks, and he hit the quarterback 27 times. And this is a quarterback hits. This is a stat that I don't normally give, but because the Raiders needed to be able to get sacks, and sure, a quarterback hit doesn't count as a sack. I know, breaking news, Mitch. But at the end of the day, you got to be able to hit the quarterback and you got to get pressure on him way more than what the Raiders did this past season. So before I give my other four players, I have a question for Raider Nation. Who should be number one on my list? If you were making this list right now before you saw my other four players, who should be number one on my list? If afterwards you watch the video and you're like, okay, that makes sense, I would appreciate it, you know, you guys just commenting on that. But give me your top five. Hit me up on Twitter at MitchellRenz365. Number four player here for the Raiders' pass rush targets in 2019, D. Ford. And I like D. Ford. Quick step. Speed is deadly, right? I mean, speed is something that you just simply can't teach, and Ford has the horsepower to get after the quarterback. You could also argue that he is probably the best first step in football, which is, guess what? Very important, especially getting off the blocks. Quickness, motor, he's going to help the Raiders get after the quarterback, and uh, I think he's just one of those really, really solid players that we could get. Spotrak's expected contract for D. Ford is five years, $81.9 million. A lot of money, but again, a very talented player, a very young player, and I understand he's not a defensive end, and he's an outside linebacker, but I still think he would fit with the Raiders. But the one thing I will note, I do expect the Chiefs to franchise tag Ford, but for some reason they don't, because if there's one thing I've seen from the Chiefs, I don't really think they care about defense anymore. I mean, it doesn't matter. They're still the number one team in the AFC. I get it. But if they decide to let D. Ford go, I think the Raiders should be all over him. In 2018, this dude, he balled out. 55 tackles, 13 tackles for a loss, 13 sacks, 29 quarterback hits. It's the most quarterback hits out of any player I'm going to talk about on my top five list. And uh, when you just look at his overall numbers, I think they're pretty good. So, this has absolutely nothing to do with anything, but better car brand, Ford or Chevy, D Ford, right? So, I just want to know from you, I want to have a little bit of fun. We don't always have to talk football in here. I'm sure some of you are car people. Better car brand, Chevy or Ford, type F for Ford, type C for Chevy. Shout out to Bet DSI. You guys are my favorite brand. Use our promo code LIVE120 for our 120% deposit 
bonus. Play now at chatsports.com slash bet. You put down $50, you'll get $60 for free. Put down $100, get $120 for free. Put down $500, get $600 for free. Shout out to BetDSI for going up chat sports with the best promo code on the internet. Also, if anybody puts down money and wins, gets himself a Ford, hey, give me a shout out. Number three here on our list for the Raiders pass rushers is Trey Flowers. And I think the last time I saw Trey Flowers on my show was a rumor that he could potentially come here. And I gave it only one chalky head, but I'm really starting to like the idea of Trey Flowers being in silver and black. While Flowers isn't a prototypical pure pass rusher for the outside, he's kind of a Swiss Army knife. And I think uh, John Gruden would absolutely love a Swiss Army knife. Maybe as a Christmas gift, maybe on the defensive field as well. When I look at Trey Flowers, though, he's a Gruden grinder, and Spotrack is expecting him to get a five-year, $76.9 million deal, which I think in terms of talent is maybe the best value of all these pass rushers that I'm going to show you. And I would be... I don't want to say surprised if they didn't target him, but I would say that he's going to be one of the most heavily targeted players for the Raiders this offseason. Because in 2018, the dude was good. 57 tackles, 9 tackles for a loss, 8 sacks, 20 quarterback hits. The Patriots a lot of times don't want to offer those big deals because they've been able to prove year in and year out that they don't need to give players big deals because they still win. And sure, when you have a quarterback like Tom Brady who's making barely any kind of ridiculous money and I understand he has that ability to because shit his wife makes probably a hundred times what he makes so he's living the dream Tom Brady all right how many sacks will the defense have in 2019 we had only 13 last year how many sacks for the Raiders in 2019 now I'm hoping that we land one of these top five pass rushers I'm hoping we have an absolute killer NFL draft how many sacks for the Raiders in 2019 and just so you know I'm gonna take what you guys say today and I'm going to probably do this segment a month from now, heck, maybe two months from now, and definitely after the NFL draft, and I want to see how much your answers have changed. My next player up here on the board is Jadavion Clowney, and don't fool yourself, this dude's an absolute rock star. Former first overall pick, Dom didn't like my pun, in the 2014 NFL draft. Now, I expect the Texans to use the franchise tag to retain Clowney because it just makes too much sense for Houston. Even if Clowney's not going to be thrilled about that decision, I, it's what I expect to happen. Now, we know he's a freak athlete, great rusher, and the dude's only 25 years old. If you guys get free time, actually, this weekend, what I want you to do is look up Jadavion Clowney high school videotape. It's insane. It's like a man playing against eighth grade boys. It's actually kind of comical. So if you get some free time, look it up after you, of course, get done watching my show. Spotrack has projected him at six years, $101.1 million, which is a hell of a payday. But when you're that young and that talented, sure, Clowney's dealt with some injury issues. But in terms of talent, he is an absolute stud. And if the Raiders can get him, I would absolutely love it. In 2018, 47 tackles, 9 sacks, 16 tackles for a loss, and 21 quarterback hits. Jadavion Clowney in silver and black. Can I get a hell yeah? Who would you rather have, though? All right, so we're talking about Jadavion Clowney at $100 million or Trey Flowers at $76 million. Based on the two players, what they've already done, and just based on that kind of money and what the Raiders have, who would you rather have? I want you to type C for Clowney or type F for Flowers. If you want to know what I think, just slide in on into those DMs at Mitchell Renz 365 I better check my DMs because they're flooded thanks to the Miz in the main. Go to www.comfortable.af to see how unbelievably comfortable these shirts are. And they're looking amazing. Heck, if you don't like dress shirts, they have other shirts there as well. Comfortable.af. I promise you the website checks out. They are made in America, and it's the best damn dress shirt you will ever buy. My top target for the Raiders is Demarcus Lawrence. And... Uh, we do the Cowboys report here, and my dude Tom is basically telling me that the Cowboys are going to franchise tag him, which they should. I mean, he's one of the best players in the NFL right now, and according to Spotrack, he's expected to make six years. He's supposed to get a contract six years for $117.9 million. And I would be surprised if the Cowboys didn't franchise tag him, but I've seen some crazy things in the NFL. I've seen some crazy things in Dallas. Some of the things I've seen in Dallas, probably can't even talk about on air. But... I love Demarcus Lawrence, and if for some reason the Cowboys say, you know what, we don't want to resign you, I'm just going to call up Gruden right now and be like, hey, you see that guy? He's pretty freaking good. Let's get all over him. And in 2018, 61 tackles, 
10 sacks, 10 tackles for a loss, 23 quarterback hits. Um, yeah, I understand he didn't have 14 and a half sacks like he did the year before that, but let's not panic because I'm telling you right now, Demarcus Lawrence is an absolute freak of nature and if he's anywhere close to free agency because the Cowboys don't re-sign him or give him the franchise tag Raider Nation I'm telling you right now you better be jumping all over at the Raiders for trying to get Demarcus Lawrence because this guy is a special special talent all right I have my top five pass rushers for the Raiders in 2019 that they should target and uh, if you don't like my list guess what I want you guys to hit me up and give me your own so I got Frank Clark there at number five. I got D Ford at four. Trey Flowers at three. Jadavion Clowney at two. Demarcus Lawrence at one. Jadavion Clowney and Demarcus Lawrence, I expect to get franchise tagged. So that's that being said. I think if the one player that's the most likely to be in silver and black next year, it's Trey Flowers. But this is my top five. But this show isn't about me. It's about you guys too. So hit me up on Twitter at MitchellRens365 and tell me your top five. So, who should be the number one target for the Raiders in free agency? I want you to comment below. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching this on Facebook, comment below. What should be the number one target for the Raiders in free agency? Before I go, going to give a shout out to Bet DSI. Go to chatsports.com slash bet. Use that promo code LIVE120 for 120% deposit bonus. Raider Nation, put down $50, you'll get $60 for free. Put down $100. Get $120 for free. Put down $500. Get $600 for free. Shout out to Bet DSI. We're going to have Chat Sports with the best promo code on the internet. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors. And look at this. I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.